We met Ooh, before. So, oh, this, swear. this here's the feller. Yeah. The one that found me. This feller? You let him suck on your leg? <laughs> I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, let, me, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Haven't conquered evil the way I have? It's the least a humble man can do. What can I do for you? The uh, guy with the snake bite says I can put some here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his owes, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. brought money this time. Ain't gonna get away with sapping in here anymore. All right, what do you want? That gun seems to be well taken care of. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Gun to be well taken care of. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Well, all right, then. A horror show, blood in the streets of Valley Corner. Side. Read all Hello. about it. Hello, How to get my hands around his neck. Yeah? Do you like an issue? No. Thanks. Well, see you for the next one. You don't want to miss this. Gentlemen. Hey, we're watching you. Don't be starting nothing here again. Hard. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met, been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff Gray. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. 
We did. Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be more in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name. And the state of a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodge. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? These damn flies! I swear, they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. This must have happened recently. Mm. 
Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. in the reins. I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Go right at the crossroads. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. A drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I would. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin. And we just found ourselves the rat's nest, our excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How are we gonna handle this? Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Bill, this way. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tacks. Dodgers the cheater now. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out with the time up. Got it. God damn it. Hey! We got an intruder! We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. What in the hell? Intruder. 
We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. See one by the bridge over there? There's another one by the still. Gentlemen. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. And your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, real funny, tell me about that. <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Sons of bitches! 
more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when our friends notice the shine's gone. Forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin. He used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill! Get this stuff out of here! Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Get up. Whoa. Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set, go. You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that.
sorry, son. Well, yeah, spare the gloating. Dutch. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would I laugh at the fact that you have learned after all these years to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. I have fun with you today. Be well. Here? Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Join me Arthur. here. You okay. Arthur, you going fishing? Yes. Or running off to Como Driscoll? Of course not. <laughs> I was joking. That's very funny. <laughs> yes, yeah, very, very funny. I saved your life, and now you torture me. Ho, ho. Shut up. Do you want to go fishing with me? I, I found an interesting spot. We'll do well. I'm not a great fisherman. But I am. <laughs> I'll teach you something. We come? Sure. All right, then. Grab your horse and let's go. God damn it! Okay, follow me. I know a great little fishing spot along the beach. Who'd have thought it? Wasn't that long ago I was tied to the back of your horse while begging for mercy. Now we're off fishing together. Uh, how do you know I ain't just looking for a good place to drown you? Because, because I saved your life, Arthur. Uh, you keep saying that, but... I save your life every day I don't kill you. So we are more than even on that front. Come on, you don't mean that. You better believe I mean it. Now, where's this spot? Uh, not much further. you were saying before. Fast? Sure. This strip of shore looks perfect. Pick a spot. if you got them. Otherwise, maybe some bread or cheese? Uh, it's a little close, ain't it, Arthur? You getting many bites there, O'Driscoll? I ain't an O'Driscoll. I told you fellas a hundred times. I'd only been with them a couple of months. I was just a runner, helping out with the horses mainly. Bottom rung of the left. And to think that was the high point of your career. Comb goes through men like cigars. They ain't like you folks. They barely knew my name. I'm more Kieran Vanderlyn than Kieran O'Driscoll at this point. Honest to God. Mostly I'm... I'm Kieran Duffy. I hate to break it to you, but I ain't sure Kieran Vanderlyn is gonna stick.
Keep it coming, but carefully. Not too fast, you could break the line. Nice. Good catch, Arthur. Now see if you can hook another. Cast the line then, Arthur. So, you think Dutch trusts me now? <laughs> That's a good one. What? Not in the slightest, my friend. I can't win. I promised loyalty, he says, but you wasn't loyal to Colm. If I say I ain't got no allegiance to nobody, he says, how do I know you won't turn on us then? I don't know what you want to hear. I'm trying hard to feel sorry for you, but somehow I, I just can't manage to. What in the world? Arthur, are you seeing this? The feather's naked as a jaybird. Is that why you like this spot? My lord. There's somebody needs to go to confession. Hey, watch the line! Oh, hey! I nearly gulped down a minnow. Sorry, fellas. Didn't see you there. Why don't you take a break? Come on in. The water's wonderful. I reckon we'll leave you to it. Just don't scare all the fish. Oh! Just so you fellas know, there's some real big ones over that way, like this. Well, I better keep the blood pumping. Hope you gents catch something. Yeah? Maybe we'll take a look. Thanks. I know where that is. Oh, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait up! Hey, boy. ready when you are. Son of a bitch! I think this is the place that naked feller was talking about. Did you see that amazing bluegill? Sure. That got you real excited, huh? Come on, Arthur. L let's walk down to the beach. Uh-huh. It ain't easy to catch a fish like that with bread and cheese, but uh, you never know. We might get lucky. Guess we'll see. I, I think you'll have more luck closer to me here. Cast one in then, Arthur.
So who taught you how to fish? My pappy, mostly. I, I lost my mammy and pappy when I was young to cholera. Your mammy? Like I said, I was real young. After that, I was on my own pretty much, but I knew horses and fishing. Oh. Uh, just think now, you'll never be alone again. Did you hook him, the big one? Uh, no. Uh, don't feel like much of a fighter. Nope, not the big one. Let's keep trying. See? Look at this. Life ain't so bad. At least you ain't tied to a tree. I'm still a prisoner, Arthur. I can't step outside camp by myself for a second without being terrified of one of Combs boys gonna come pick me up. When I'm in camp, I got Bill and Sadie whispering in my ear all the time how they're gonna kill me in my sleep. It's like living in a nightmare. Christ. If I'd known you were gonna moan this much, I'd have never have said yes to this. No, I don't feel very big to me. No, that's not it. I don't think we have much chance. We need better bait. You might want to see if the stores around here sell anything better. I think I'm going to head back to camp, Arthur, if that's okay. Sure. Go on, I'll see you later. Okay, fella.
Arthur! Arthur! People are talking. You've stopped. You've stopped working for us all. How'd you mean? No money in the box for ages. Come on, son. You're the best man among us. Don't go weak on me now. Please. I've been sort of busy, Dutch. I'll get back to it. Thank you, son. How it's done, ladies and gentlemen. Hmm? Money in the pot. I made it big. Again. Mm, you lucky people. The rest of you stop being so goddamn lazy and come over and say thank you to your Uncle Micah. Are you just pretending? Go rob a house. What do you want, a medal? Hi, boss. Oh, don't make me laugh. something. Coming. Hey, 